everybody, and welcome to another edition of the PrepCast. My name is Yosef Nasser, and I'm pleased to be joined by Langley Girls Basketball Head Coach Amanda Bates Baker and Junior Guard Jordan Callahan. Coach Jordan, thank you both for joining me this afternoon. Thanks for having us, Yusuf. We're happy to be here. Coach, I'd like to start with you. Your team won the 6A North Regional Championship this past weekend against Battlefield. It was a back and forth contest. Your team endured its share of adversity down by as many as nine points in the second half, but your girls were able to battle back, win the game, and cut down the nets. My question for you was, what was your message to the team when you were down, and how fulfilling was it to see them battle back and cut down the nets? I guess the overall message at halftime really was one, to stay composed, and then two, to protect the paint a little bit better. Um, Battlefield was getting high percentage shots, getting in there a little easier than we normally would like an opponent to get in the lane. So once the players made those adjustments in the second half, we were able to slowly chip away at the lead and hold them to lower scoring uh, in each of their quarters. Now, Jordan, you scored 21 points in the game, including four three-pointers. What was that moment like for you when you guys were able to battle back from the deficit, win the game, climb up on that ladder, and cut down the nets. What was that moment like for you? We had confidence throughout the whole game, and we knew, we trusted each other, our coaches, and everyone on the court, that we would make the right moves, the right plays, and we got ourselves in a great position to win the game. And when we knew, when we were ready to strike, we struck. Okay, we're going to cut to a quick commercial break and after that we'll be back right back with coach uh, Baker and Jordan Callahan are you top 40 are you one of the top 40 underclass basketball players in Northern Virginia Fairfax Prince William Loudon Arlington and Alexandria are you top 40 in conjunction with Evolution Basketball, we'll be selecting the top 40 boys and top 40 girls underclass basketball players for an invite-only exclusive training camp during this year's DMVStream.com Nova Challenge on April 10th at Marshall High School. With over 160 college basketball players developed, Evolution Basketball has the experience and knowledge to help players succeed at the high school level and move on to the college ranks. Now, trainers from Evolution will be working with this elite group of basketball players and providing hands-on coaching in a three-hour training session that will be attended by college coaches, recruiting services, scouting services, and broadcast by dmvstream.com. Here's Evolution Basketball's Alex Harris. I, I think that's such a huge benefit for the kids because one of the big reasons why this camp is so successful is to bring players in to see what the other players are in the area who are really the high-level kids that they're going to be competing with. And the idea of having the camp before the All-Star game, what it does is it creates that excitement. You know, a kid that gets to play in the camp this year is probably going to get the opportunity to compete in the All-Star game next year. Now, in order to be considered for the top 40, you must fill out the form right below this video. The DMVStream.com Nova Challenge Board of Directors will then be selecting this elite group and releasing the true top 40 during a live selection show at dmvstream.com in late March. So, ask yourself, are you top 40? And we're back. Yosef Nasser here alongside Langley girls basketball coach Amanda Baker and guard Jordan Callahan. Uh, coach, You've been the coach at Langley since 2011. You've been around Jordan for the past three years. She's one of the leaders on your team. I'm wondering what are some of the intangible qualities that she possesses that we might not see in the bleachers or watch, uh, or through watching a live broadcast at DMV Stream? What, what are some of the intangible qualities that makes her such a great leader? Well, one great thing about Jordan is that she has an incredibly high basketball IQ, and not just for her position, uh, she pretty much knows what everyone on the floor should be doing or where, you know, if a play call is made, where that put, every player is going to end up um, within the rotation. So having somebody that knows and can run the floor like a true floor general with such ease is a huge luxury for our team. Um, but she's also a big vocal leader, and she's somebody that can help players on the court, whether it's a younger player or a veteran, just a little advice here and there. Um, it's just invaluable so that you know, a coach doesn't have to call a timeout. You basically have a coach out on the court. 
And Jordan, you've had something of a breakout season this year. You're the leading scorer on a team that's 24 and 4, averaging 14 points a game. I'm wondering, what do you think has been the biggest factor in your success this year? I think it's just having confidence, having confidence in my shot, in my playing ability, and trusting my teammates that they're going to make the right play, and just knowing that I can make any shot that I want to make. Coach, we were at your game uh, last Saturday. And something that struck me about you is that you, in a, an environment, in a profession that's personified by yellers and screamers, you seem almost the opposite of that. You seem upbeat, positive, and composed throughout the course of a game. I'm wondering, where does that style of leadership come from? Where did you develop that? Um, well, I guess it comes with learning how the players respond to different things like uh, we're not the type of team that will respond very well to negative criticism like kids will respond a lot better when you give them something tangible to work with and you reinforce it positively um, and luckily these players do a lot of things great so I'm able to constantly praise and reinforce um, but I found that when I got frustrated it tended to echo into the team and I definitely didn't want to be a negative influence anyway so just over the last few years and trying to make that an emphasis just be a positive presence and it'll uh, rub off on those players. Well, I definitely agree with that style of coaching. Uh, Jordan, your team has won 10 straight games, 15 of the past 16. I'm wondering what has been clicking for you all in the past month and a half or so? We just have so much team chemistry and we always have our defense there for us. So even if, when we're not scoring on offense, we're making sure the other team isn't scoring either. And we just work well together on and off the court. Now, Coach, your team plays Woodbridge on Friday in the state tournament. I'm wondering what are some key points of emphasis that you'll express to your team between now and Friday? Well, we're definitely going to have our hands full with Woodbridge. Um, so there are a lot of keys that we'll talk about. Um, one of the biggest ones will be very similar to what we emphasized against Battlefield, and that's protecting the paint. Um, they have some very tall post players and they have very aggressive guards that can get in the lane so we're going to try to limit their look close to that get and uh, make them earn it from the outside a little bit more and final question for you jordan as the point guard and as one of the leaders of this team what do you think you need to focus on to get your mind right uh and be ready to get that win on friday we just have to know our personnel and trust ourselves trust the coaches and make sure we stick to our game plan. Coach Baker, Jordan, thank you both so much for joining me this afternoon on the PrepCast. Best of luck in the tournament. I really appreciate the time. Thanks for having us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Absolutely.